These accounts and prophecies can be found on all continents, in various cultures and oral and written traditions, and are very, very similar to each other. One of the most prominent and most studied prophecies in recent times comes from the Hopi people. The Hopi are an indigenous people from North America residing on the Hopi Reservation in Northwest Arizona. Some Hopi also live on a Colorado River Indian Reservation in Western Arizona. As one of the earliest indigenous peoples of the United States, their language has roots in that of the Aztecs. The Hopi religion advocates pacifism emphasizing respect for all elements of nature, aligning with the commandments of the creator and protector of the world. Their cultural practices are deeply rooted, and during rituals, the Hopi seek enlightenment for all peoples, reflecting on the past, present, and future. Believing in a shared origin, the Hopi hold that humanity must undergo cycles of destruction to attain higher spiritual stages. In their lore, the Hopi faced a great flood in the past and entered into an enduring agreement with the Great Spirit to remain connected. This covenant is inscribed on sacred stone tablets containing teachings, prophecies, and warnings. The legend of Pahana, the lost white brother, is central to Hopi beliefs. It foretells Pahana's return near the world's end, a belief held to be imminent by the Hopi. Aligning with Mayan, Egyptian, and Nostradamus prophecies, Pahana is expected to return from the east, presenting a missing piece of the sacred tablet to confirm the Hopi's identity, initiating a transformative era of cleansing evil for the fifth world to emerge. Initially mistaking European conquerors for Pahana, the Hopi discerned their true nature and expelled them. According to Hopi cosmology, several eras ended catastrophically due to humanity's negativity and disharmony with Mother Earth. The present, termed the Fourth World, is believed to be at risk, possibly leading to the creation of a Fifth World. A pivotal Hopi prophecy revealed by elders outlines nine signs preceding the Fifth World. These signs include the arrival of white-skinned men, wooden wheels, like the European carriages, a buffalo-like beast, like European cattle, steel snakes, which were interpreted as trains, a gigantic web, which was interpreted as electrical power and telegraphs, rivers of stone, which was identified as highways, the sea turning black, which points to oil pollution, and young people adopting Hopi long hair, like the hippies did in the 1960s and 1970s. And an inhabited place falling from the heavens, appearing as a blue star known as the Blue Kachina. These signs, according to Hopi elder Whitefeather, signal impending destruction. Pillars of smoke and fire will cause disease and death. Only the Hopi and peaceful ones will be spared, with survivors becoming seeds for the fifth world. Pahana's arrival is anticipated after the appearance of the blue star, when Kachina dances with the sun, symbolizing a visible celestial event. This prophecy shared by a Hopi elder was passed down through oral tradition and ancient tablets, gaining broader attention in 1958 when Father David Young recorded it. According to the Hopi prophecy, once the blue star Kachina becomes visible to all, signaling the arrival of the day of purification, the true white brother is destined to come from the east. His quest? To seek out the Hopi individuals unwaveringly devoted to their ancient teachings. It is foretold the true white brother falls short in his mission, unable to discover individuals untainted by corruption, the earth will face complete annihilation, sparing none. On the contrary, should he succeed in bringing forth the sacred symbols and identifying those who will still embrace the authentic Hopi way of life, a new world will be forged and all the faithful shall be shielded from the impending destruction. What will this new world, the fifth world, look like? According to Hopi cosmology, each world 
is associated with a particular cycle of creation, and the transition from one world to another is marked by cataclysmic events or a period of purification. The fifth world is often envisioned as a time when humanity is spiritually attuned and lives in harmony with the divine nature and fellow beings. It represents a period of enlightenment and understanding of spiritual truths. In the fifth world, there is an emphasis on reconnecting with the natural world. Humanity is believed to live in balance with the earth, respecting and nurturing the environment rather than exploiting it. The arrival of the fifth world is also associated with a revival of ancient traditions and cultural practices. It is seen as a time when people return to the true Hopi way of life, embracing their cultural heritage and wisdom. The transition to the fifth world includes the removal or purification of negative elements and influences. This purification process is seen as necessary for the creation of a new world free from the destructive forces that plagued the previous epochs. When we compare the Hopi prophecy to scripture and many other prophecies, traditions, myths and legends, a very similar pattern emerges. We learn that humanity is on the wrong path, that extreme materialism and technocracy lead to complete moral and spiritual decay as well as great conflicts, natural and man-made disasters and mass destruction, followed by a purification period and the arrival of a new era or new world. These accounts and prophecies can be found on all continents, in various cultures and oral and written traditions and are very, very similar to each other. Considering the very real possibility that we are living in a matrix or simulated reality, the question is whether this new or fifth world the Hopis talk about signifies the return to prime or base reality, or a more enlightened and spiritual version of the simulation. Regardless, it is undeniable that we are living in a time of great upheaval and simultaneous purification. Many are leaving the earth at this time and others, in great numbers, are focusing on their inner spiritual journey and preparing for a new and vastly different future. As always, we hold the key and we are the ones we have been waiting for. If we can embody this on all levels, we can rightfully assume and affirm that the best is yet to come. You deserve the truth, but Big Tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. Just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.